with regard to momolotinib, uh, there are actually two posters at EHA. The one that um, I'm presenting is long-term safety and efficacy. So momolotinib has been around for a while. Many of us will remember this drug um, in its earlier manifestations and then the Simplify 1 and Simplify 2 studies. So um, in this poster, we look at uh, 550 patients with um, a median follow-up of, um, I think it's five years, and a maximum follow-up of nine years. Some patients, momolotinib is a JAK1 and JAK2 inhibitor, but it also has this um, intriguing mechanism of action affecting iron homeostasis via the um, AVCR receptor, which affects hepcidin uh, transcription and, and restores normal iron homeostasis. In this um, poster, we analysed patients from both simplified studies and were able to demonstrate um, that when you look at um, a momolotinib compared to roxalitinib, there was less uh, anemia, less thrombocytopenia, um, and that's something that has already been demonstrated in the phase three studies, but that this was durable in the long term is important. Also important is non-hematological toxicity. So if you remember, there was a low level of uh, neuropathy seen with momolotinib. But important to look at the longer term safety with this agent and no new non-hematological toxicity was identified. So going forward now, the current path for momolotinib is um, in a phase three study where there'll be a double blind comparison between momolotinib and the anabolic steroid Damasol in anemic patients, um, to, which will hopefully allow us to get um, the, uh, the agent approved and access for patients, since anemia clearly represents an area of significant unmet need for this patient population.